Hi guys, welcome back. You're looking at the Lily Koi Passion Fruit in full bloom and is it it's not only attractive but it's very very delicious in its um, scent Wow so pretty and so fragrant um, this is the, the the first year that it's flowered and I realized that you have to hand pollinate this with another variety so I don't know if that's gonna take place especially now close to winter um, there's a lot of them coming but uh, so far they're falling right they haven't been um, successfully pollinated not by me but by by the bees so uh, I was told I need a different variety there's another one up there that's fully open Wow so I do have another variety here it's the Panama Panama red and I don't think that one can cross pollinate with a lily koi I'm not sure but um, I don't think that's possible which is a real shame but the good news is I was told by an expert that two different lily koi's, two different um, plants, can cross pollinate each other. So two of these same ones, not from the same plant, but two separate plantings. So I might plant another lily koi next spring and see how we go with uh, this beauty. I'll show you the tag. Got it from Dailies a couple of years ago. It's this one here. The sweet lily koi passion fruit. Yep, and its stem is still very, very thin after um, a year and a half, about a year to a year and a half in the ground. Very thin compared to the Panama red. Let me show you the stem on the Panama red <laughs> for comparison. Mind you, this is after three years. So it's a year three for the Panama red. Look at that. Look at that um, trunk, double trunk. So I think this will be its final year, year three. And then um, this will all die back. Yeah, so that's just a quick um, um, update on the, the passion fruit here. At Fruitopia at the end of autumn yeah there's about a dozen Panamas in here there's another one up there these do fall even through winter not as many though as summer there's another one up there right then there's another one coming up there so yeah even in winter we still get uh, and there's one flowering there's a Panama flower even in winter, we get uh, passion fruit. Can you believe that? In freezing cold Melbourne, who'd want to live here? Well, evidently, the passion fruit does. Guys, that's who. And I see another lily koi in there, flower. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, and there's a little baby Panama. Wow. Yeah. So, give it a go if you're in uh, Victoria, South Australia, even Tasmania, I dare say. Give it a go, guys. Passion fruit is not so hard to... Uh, oh, there's one that's ripe. Oh, no. Yes? No? Yes. There you go. That's uh, Panama Red ready to uh, drop. I'm not going to pull it though because you want these to drop on their own. There you go. So, okay. Over and now for now. We'll see you from the next video. Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys and share. Share, share, share. Right across with your um, fruit growing friends. Bye guys.